An artist rendering shows what the Fairhope Pier and the surrounding area could look like once the green light is given. A big change visitors will notice right off is parking. If you want to go to the to the main pier, uh, the parking's quite a ways. I guess you know they just have to if somebody's handicapped, they'll you know have to make it in a wheelchair or something like that. Council President Jack Burrell comments on the conceptual design during a recent presentation that was given to City Council. You'll notice parking spaces are removed in front of the pier, but parking is added in several other places. A drop-off area would be added in front of the pier. This working waterfront project is a $6.2 million Restore Act grant aimed at making improvements to the pier and beach areas. The goal is to make them more user-friendly. That's why we have so many cars, is because... Pedestrian-wise, it really isn't very walkable. In this drawing, you'll notice a new beach area with jetties, which will help protect the site from storms. Pavilions and restrooms will help connect visitors in this new walkable space. Bluff stabilization is an important part of this project, too. City officials say the bluff continues to erode, and the grant money will help stabilize it. So, what's next? Now engineers will begin the design phase of the project. No time frame has been given as to when the actual work on the site will start. In Fairhope, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.